well, hey there thanks for stopping by and if you're new to my channel welcome I'm Robbie Greer from Rusticated Art and this is Fun Times Family Art where you get to draw along with me from the comfort of your own home <laughs> So in this week's tutorial, it's just a continuation of last week's one. Remember we were drawing stones and that, so we've got all the outline done and, and, and the darks in between the stones. So this week, we've just gone to the next stage, which is the actual drawing. So we've done the line drawing, which is the outside, and now we've, we've done the blocking in. And we're just sort of slowly building it all up. So at the end of the day, we're going to have a lovely little picture. Now, if you're a homeschooler, I really would love to, to, to see some of your work. And all you've got to do is either email me, and there's a, uh, my email address is in the description below, or go to my Facebook page and send it to me in Messenger. That's in the description below as well. And honestly, I'd really love to see it. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments as well. Or you can PM me through my Messenger. No problem. Now, of course, you might not be a homeschooler. You might be one of these people that talk to me all the time about how they loved drawing as a child and then life got in the way. You had education. You had a career. You had marriage. Then children. <laughs> and now, all of a sudden, they've all flown the coop and you'd like to get back into it again. Well, this is ideal for you as well. So what do you reckon? You ready to have a go? Come on, then. All right, so I did a little bit off camera during the week. Just want to get this one here in. Everything's blocked in as far as in between the stones and that go. Now it's just a matter of just putting in some detail. And as you can see here, all I've done is just one rock and we'll, well we won't start from that one. What I'll do is we'll, we'll start from one side and, and just work our way across. Now this doesn't have to be an exact well, it doesn't have to be exact at all, by any means. But all we're trying to do is create a texture. And now I'm using little circular motions here to create the texture to give us you know, a stone or rock-like uh, shape. So we're just going like this here. And all I'm going to do is just try and merge it all together like that see now this is that sort of gives the impression that, that that particular stone there is on its side it's on its edge so instead of being flat it's on its edge now next thing is just come in here with a little blending brush and just blend over that and that one as well with those two little ones there now I want to make them darker so because we've blended over it the darkness is gone so I'm just going in here like this look just to give it that depth and that's how the process will go all the way through because when we, we blend it take a little bit out and then we're going to put a bit back in and like that well, I haven't put those little lines in there but they're there and that's come just just because we did a little little blend like that and that's and because we did the not just the blend but I mean Instead of going up and down, we just little circular motions. And that creates different textures. And I'm just gently doing that, just gently going over with the blending brush. I want it to be a little bit darker down the bottom, on the side there. And look, just, just like that, just gently up the top there. And it gives it the, the effect of a, one of those, like a really smooth stone or pebble and I love that yeah yeah this one over here and I'm using a 2b it's a clutch pencil and it's a 0.2 graphite or lead on it but yeah if you ever got that it doesn't matter just use an ordinary pencil 2b once again circular little motions we don't have to be too fussy this is all we're doing is just laying down the graphite and like I said last week, if, if you haven't got a, uh, an A4 size sketching pad or visual diary, and you might only have an, a, an A4 photocopy paper, 
You don't have to do an A4. You can make it smaller, you make it an A5. I'm only doing it because it's just convenient that it's here. But you don't have to do it to that size, to that scale. In fact, the smaller you do it, the better. The smaller the, the paper you're working on, the smaller the better. And that's only because otherwise it, you know, it, it, it will take a long time. And you want to do it just take you want to just take your time. And really we're just letting the paper and the pencil create the texture. Just gently look, this over and over and over, and it's just it's giving it its own shape. In fact, I'm not even gonna do too much to them, I'm just gonna block them in. And then we can sort of do some more. It's holding that pencil there right on its side, and then over here. I might just do a few little shapes, a few of the um, pebbles, just to get us going. And then we can decide what sort of a texture we want to put on them, or what we want to create. But the thing is, it's just to do each one individually. And sort of go with the shape of it. So yeah, we're getting all these little different different like marks and lines in there. I don't know if you can see that. Might be a little bit too far away, but it's, what it's doing is, as I say, each one is creating its own uniqueness. And they'll become their own individual stones. Now, now I'm doing the biggest, bigger circles now on this one. And maybe if we go over a bit. Might just sort of do this, this this bit here, and then we can go in and do some detail. Yeah, I'm doing that just like that, just to try and create a different surface for the stones. Yeah, that one there's a bit more the circles are a bit tighter, and of course some will be darker than others, some will be lighter. It'll all come together. So there's blocking in. If you're a homeschooler, I hope you're following along. Yeah, it's all about basic shapes. Really, that is all it is about. These don't have to be perfectly round, they don't have to be perfect in any way. Well, I'm pretty ha happy with that. Now, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to, I'm going to actually. Uh, well, what we're going to do, <coughs> now that I've got that sort of blocked in and shaded in like that, we can start and we're going to go to each individual one and then we're going to create the actual drawing as such, you know, with it, the stones. So I've just gone and I've been this stuff. Now, I'm looking for little, just little lines. And they're there. You always be different from mine. And just go in there like that, just lightly. So what we want to do, I'm going to blend that. And now this stone here is on top of that one there, so it, it will create a little bit of a shadow. So we'll just put a little bit of graphite there. Just darken it up a little bit. And it's going to be dark in there. In there. Just take your time. Now, the other thing that we do is we get now, kneadable eraser, although well, I use blue tack most of the time, and we're just going to take a little bit out, tap it out, and blend it just lightly. Okay, move on to the next one. These ones don't need a lot of detail because you can't see much. Just going to just blend them. And what we don't want to see are hard lines. Now, move this one here. This one's sort of sitting on the top. Just going around the edges first, seeing what we can see in there. Just going around there like that. See how we're sort of creating that roundness? Contrast. We're creating contrast. And contrast is not just light and dark, it's opposites. It can be round and straight. You know, opposites. I like to just go with how I think 
the shape of the rock would be. The stone. Shouldn't really call it a rock because they're stones, aren't they? And you see how we're getting all these little different little, little highlights and little imperfections. Remember, we're looking directly down on this. And of course, I like to move everything around because I might see it different in a different angle from what I'll see it, you know, like there. I'm probably more looking at this angle here. Whereas if I turn it this way, I'm looking more at this this little stone here. So I like to just sort of go that way. Very lightly. Just doing everything lightly. Well, I think that's about enough for now. So we'll leave it there. And you've got plenty to work to go on with if you're if you're homeschooling, drawing from home. Or if you're just rekindling your your desire to draw, we'll leave it there. You got plenty to go on with. You can always play it back. And uh, next stage, we'll come back in and, and we'll start putting in a bit of detail. I'll probably do finish that off off camera because it's going to be pretty much the same as this. And and we'll just get in and do a bit more detail. Oh, I can see so much to do in here. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right, we'll leave it right there. That's it. <laughs> well, that wasn't hard, was it? <laughs> it's all about just breaking it down to the basic shapes and then just taking your time. You know, really drawing, all drawing is, is, is a whole lot of pencil strokes. You just got to put them in the right place, that's all. <laughs> now, I try to keep the videos between sort of 10 and 15 minutes, no longer than that. So I thought I'd leave it there for now. Now, if this is your first time here and you'd really like to learn or to get back into drawing, then this is the video for you, this one here. Now if you like what you're seeing, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, share it with your friends. Because if you're enjoying it, they're going to enjoy it as well. Now, before I go, I'd just like to throw in a little motivational quote. And this one's from good old Theodore Roosevelt. And guess what he had to say? Believe you can, and you're halfway there. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Well, anyway, thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves out there, and we'll see you in the next one.